Armistice Day commemorates the armistice signed between the Allies of World War I and Germany at Compiègne, France, for the cessation of hostilities on the Western Front of World War I, which took effect at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918, marking the end of the hostilities in the Great War. Background and lead up to the armistice. 1. Exhaustion of forces, by late 1918. The nations involved in World War I were economically and militarily exhausted. Both the Allies and the Central Powers had suffered millions of casualties and significant destruction. 2. Collapse of Central Powers The Central Powers, especially Germany, were facing internal turmoil, with strikes and mutinies breaking out. Austria-Hungary was disintegrating, the Ottoman Empire was on the brink of collapse, and Bulgaria had already signed an armistice on September 29, 1918. 3. Political pressure in Germany German Kaiser Wilhelm II faced immense pressure from both military leaders and civilian authorities to end the war. The German High Command, recognizing the futility of their position after significant defeats on the Western Front, pushed for a ceasefire. Signing of the Armistice 1. Negotiations the armistice negotiations took place in a rail carriage in the forest of Compiègne, France. The negotiations were led by French Marshal Ferdinand Foch, representing the Allied forces. 2. Terms of the armistice, the terms were harsh for Germany. They had to immediately evacuate invaded territories, surrender significant amounts of military equipment, and allow an Allied occupation of the Rhineland. Importantly, the blockade that had severely restricted supplies to Germany and caused widespread starvation would continue until a formal peace treaty was signed. 3. Date and time, the armistice was signed at 5 a.m. on November 11, 1918, but it came into effect at 11 a.m. the same day, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. Reaction to the armistice 1. Public jubilation and relief News of the armistice was met with widespread elation across the Allied nations. Celebrations were held in cities across the world as people rejoiced at the end of the conflict. 2. Mixed feelings in Germany In Germany, the reaction was more mixed. While there was relief, there was also a sense of defeat and humiliation, which would later contribute to the political and social tumult in the Weimar Republic. Historical Significance 1. End of World War I, the armistice marked the end of World War I's hostilities, although the formal end of the war came later with the signing of the Treaty of Versailles on June 28, 1919. 2. Remembrance, Armistice Day has since been commemorated annually. In many Allied nations, it has evolved into Remembrance Day or Veterans Day, memorializing all military personnel who have died in the line of duty since World War I. 3. Legacy of the War the war's end drastically altered the geopolitical landscape, leading to the dismantling of empires, redrawing of borders, and setting the stage for major political changes worldwide, including the eventual rise of fascism and the lead-up to World War II. Armistice Day Ceremonies In subsequent years, ceremonies on November 11 have become a time to honor those who served and died in military service. In the United Kingdom, a two-minute silence is observed, and the event is marked by the laying of wreaths at war memorials, most notably at the Cenotaph in London. Similarly, in France, ceremonies are held at the Arc de Triomphe. Overall, Armistice Day stands as a potent symbol of peace and remembrance, reflecting on the sacrifices of those who fought in World War I and recognizing the broader implications of the war's end.
King Albert I of Belgium reigned from 1909 to 1934 and played a crucial role during World War I. 
born on April 8, 1875, he became the third king of the Belgians. Known for his leadership and bravery, he is often remembered as a national hero for his steadfast resistance against the German invasion.
Queen Mary and King George V were significant figures in the history of World War I, serving as the King and Queen of the United Kingdom and the British Dominions from 1910 until the King's death in 1936. King George V, 1865 to 1936 reign, 1910 to 1936. Role in World War I. National symbol, as the monarch during World War I, King George V was a unifying figure for the British Empire. He visited the front lines, inspected troops, and awarded soldiers for their bravery, boosting morale among both troops and civilians. Political influence, while the king had limited direct political power, he played a critical role in steering public opinion and maintaining national spirit. His leadership was largely symbolic but essential for the unity and resolve of the British people. House of Windsor, in 1917, in response to anti-German sentiment, King George V changed the name of the royal house from saxe coburg and Gotha to the House of Windsor. This move helped to strengthen the British monarchy's connection to the nation during the war. Diplomatic relations, King George V was related to many European monarchs, including Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany and Tsar Nicholas II of Russia. These relationships were strained by the war, reflecting the personal and political complexities involved. Queen Mary, 1867 to 1953 consort 1910 to 1936 wife of king george v role in world war one support and morale queen mary took on numerous roles to support the war effort she was heavily involved in charitable work supporting soldiers and their families and promoting national welfare organizations the needlework guild queen mary founded the needlework guild which produced clothing and supplies for soldiers and refugees, providing essential aid during the war. <laughs>